Hi guys, I welcome you all to the lecture series of OpenCV. In this lecture series, we will be talking about OpenCV and its different implementation details. Now, what is OpenCV? Basically, there are several libraries which are available to solve problems related to computer vision and image processing. OpenCV is one of those most important or most popular computer vision libraries. If you want to start your journey in the field of computer vision, then OpenCV is a must. You should have a complete understanding of the concepts which are being depicted in OpenCV library. And this becomes very important that you have a good practicing hand in OpenCV. So what is OpenCV? OpenCV as declared as open source computer vision library is a library of programming functions aimed at solving problems in the domain of image processing and computer vision. Basically started by the Intel itself and Intel has been the main contributor while development of this open source computer vision library. OpenCV was initially written in C++ and its primary interface was in C++ language. To cater recent trends of high level languages, there are several wrappers which have been developed for this programming language. Wrappers include in programming languages such as Python, Java and MATLAB. So we can easily say that Python, Java, MATLAB, they have good support available for OpenCV library. Since Python is considered as the language of the current age and specifically for data science and machine learning applications, we will be working on OpenCV with Python interface. So moving on, what are different applications of OpenCV? This video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task. With many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. Now when we talk about applications of OpenCV, we should understand that what is the applications of computer vision and image processing. So in this slide, I have just put some of those applications. Computer vision has tremendous, tremendous success in these days. There are a lot of applications which can be seen by humans these days. So what we see, we see applications of computer vision everywhere these days. Some of those applications of computer vision include object recognition. In object recognition, what we say, we say that if there is a specific object present in the image or a video, how to identify that object inside the image. For example, we can identify table, chair, trees, parks and so on. Then we have vehicle analytics interface. For vehicle analytics, we say that we want to do automation of a traffic scene. For example, we want to identify if there is some vehicle such as car, motorcycle, truck, so on. What is the speed of that car if they are on the right lane and so on. Then we have person identification. In person identification, we say that identification of a human by his face or body parts. Then we have human object interaction. By human object interaction, we say there is a relationship between a person and a specific object. For example, we can say that a person is sitting on the chair. A person is holding something. Person is carrying a mobile and so on. Facial feature improvement. So facial feature improvement means that we have provided a given image of a person where a person's face is quite visible. And now we want to improve its quality. So maybe we want to remove wrinkles on that face. We want to put some sort of makeup. We want to put some sort of color on that face. So combining these things, we can say that there is an automated surveillance system can be built. By automated surveillance system, we say, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of cameras are being installed. Surveillance cameras are being installed to monitor human activities these days. So using OpenCV, we can make a very good human activity surveillance system by ourselves. The list of these applications goes on and on a lot of times. So one final or make the breakthrough application of computer vision or which we can develop using OpenCV software, of course, that is related to autonomous vehicle. So most of you will be aware of autonomous vehicle. What is the concept of that vehicle? Basically, this is a vehicle 
which will be operating without any driver so it appears that it will be a multi billion market product and if we want to make a autonomous vehicle we need automation of cameras which would be installed with that vehicle and for automation of those cameras open cv is a very very good candidate so what we will be going through in this lecture series so these are the contents or agenda items which we will be studying during this lecture so i will be starting from the introduction of open cv i have spoken a bit of that open cv introduction then i will be telling you how to download and install open cv and then how to read an image display an image saving an image in your space accessing image properties changing color space resizing the image displaying text inside the image drawing a line drawing a circle drawing a rectangle and drawing an ellipse so i can easily say that this would be an introductory lecture where i will be helping you out to install open cv on your machines and then loading some image storing that image in your sample space and then playing with that image by changing its color its size then putting different sort of line circle rectangle and ellipse inside the image so enough talking now let's start from the practical examples of open cv and how you will be installing that open cv in your system so again what is the introduction of open cv i have already gone through some introduction here i want to just put some emphasis that open cv is not the only software available for image processing there are plethora of applications or softwares available you can play with different applications but open cv is one of the very very best candidates among those softwares google yourself for different applications or different apis for computer vision applications you will come across different libraries such as matlab is own toolkit which is called matlab image processing toolbox you have accord.net emgu cv.net and so on so there are different libraries available to play with computer vision or image processing applications but open cv is a very good tool because it has been available in different flavors different programming languages java c++ python and so on so again introduction wise open cv is a open source computer vision library it was officially launched by intel in 1999 it was initially built in with c and c++ but it has a very good wrappers and functionalities available in high level languages and in this lecture series we will be using open cv with python interfaces okay now we have talked enough about open cv its applications computer vision applications and so on 